Hey Hammered, yeah, I got a question for you. And my question is, uh, what, what defines a man to you? And uh, ignoring the fact that every time I bring this up, I mean, try to ignore this, um, people tend to like bring up like, well, you know, a lot of things that make a man make a woman and a lot of, a lot of things that are good attributes in a man and a woman are just, you know, humankind. But what I really mean is, um, what is a man? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, like if I'm in a if I'm in a group of guys, and we're all talking, and uh, somebody says, uh, um, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes you know these two things could happen, and someone else says, oh, actually, I used to I used to work in that field, and uh, um, that actually can't happen because of these things, um, and uh, what what normally happens is this or this. Uh, and the other guy's like, oh, really? I always thought that it was the other way. Oh, oh well, thanks, man. Um, what you don't, what a man can't say um, is, uh, that's a lie. Um, you, can't, uh, you can't even imply that someone just lied, uh, in my mind, for a man. So, like, you get, like, a, a, a guy, a group of, like, 30 guys together, and uh, we all have... We all grew up in different ways. We had different ideas of what masculinity is all about, uh, what makes a man. Um, and I respect uh, uh, other people's viewpoints and diversity and whatnot. But, but I cannot be in a room of guys with one of them calling me a liar. Um, it's not acceptable. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's like if I if I ask the guy a couple of questions, and he's like, "Oh no, I find I find it's completely acceptable for a man to call another man a liar." I'd be like, well, this is where you are wrong. <laughs> um, and I have a bunch of different things like that. Uh, there's a bunch of different things that I think a man uh, should not do. Um, and I, th I really don't think actually my viewpoints are too uncommon, except um, it's not uncommon to, uh, to meet people that uh, uh, don't agree even closely. And... Uh, I think where my like my male template comes from, uh, what I based like my ideas of like manhood is, um, is a lot on uh, um, cowboy culture. The uh, the idea being like you know a man doesn't complain, and you know a man does. You know everybody complains, but the idea is like like on the cattle drive, let's say a bunch of men are going to be together uh, for three months or more, uh, let's say driving cattle up to market and then uh, you know riding back. Um, People are going to be tired, they're going to be hungry, uh, they're going to be sore, hurt, all these different things. Uh, if someone's complaining that entire time, uh, tempers are going to lash out. It's just like, that is that is like something that defines uh, human beings. That's not just a man thing. Um, but how I believe uh, a good man deals with that is uh, they try to keep the complaining to an absolute minimum. Um, and hopefully they just complain to their horse. Um, you know, respect, uh, re respect for anything weaker than you, I think, uh, defines a man. Um, so well, there's like one other thing that, uh, like, typically I think that a man, uh, shouldn't ask for help. Um, for the most part, sometimes, sometimes it's just required, um, but I think for the most part, a man, when, he, man, when a man notices that somebody needs help, uh, their help is automatically offered. Um, there's no need to ask a man to help out, because a man sees what needs to be done, and he lends a hand. So, there, that, that's, the, that's the essence of what I wanted to ask you about. What makes a man, and where do you get your, uh, where do you get your ideas? Of, uh, of what defines a man and uh, what's appropriate. If you're if you're amongst a guy, a, a group of thirty guys, uh, where do you uh, where do you draw the lines and and say, hey, that, you just cross the line, Mister. Step out front of the saloon. I'm gonna whoop. I'm gonna whoop your tail. <laughs> Honestly. All right, hammered. See you in the tubes.